Jelly Prime here, and on this episode of What Are We Doing Now? Well, we kind of picked up something last Sunday, Saturday? Saturday. Saturday. Uh, we kind of need to get this thing going. This big guy right here. But the problem I have with this big guy right here is the joists in the floor go like this. I got 200 gallons of water right next to you, standing there, and 125 behind you standing, and that 150 standing, and all this. Well, a thought occurred to my brain. We could just take that tank and slide it over here, and slide these two elsewhere. That'll be in this video. Also, we're going to finish painting a few things on this, just touch-ups, nothing major. And then... We're gonna clean the inside of that out. Uh, and then we got some dirt and sand to put in it. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Like completely. Anyways, I got Lady Metalhead with me over here hiding, probably. Whatever. Maybe. <laughs> She's gonna go ahead and start touching up the paint and then we're gonna immediately grab it and start moving it. Yeah. Because that's smart. <laughs> so, stick around and see how this goes. Probably horribly. Okay. He already told you. I'm gonna paint this, touch it up. Fun times, fun stuff. Here we go. Unfortunately, the, the postal box jumped out of the tank or something. I, it, it's gone. I lost it. Um, sad day here, but we're gonna we're gonna push on. And just excuse me. Don't get the value painter set for Menards. These things look like recycled brushes. <laughs> the bristles are quite soft. Yeah, and they're leaving a lot of marks. Just to find out, the gas station didn't pay its Pepsi bill again, so we're stuck with 20 ounces. Of course. And then, I also had to pick up some more supplies. The Savage Size Slim Jim. Ooh, yeah, it's the cream of the crop. Too sweet. Frank is just behind that chair over there in that 30 gallon but you can't see him from here you might just see a time oh yeah actually he is out that tiny little dot right there that's him <laughs> I will get a better close-up of him before this video is done 
maybe. I should probably do it now because he likes to hide. While she's doing that, let me take you guys in over here. I'll stand back here. I've got less chance of scaring him. Oh, close. Turn this down if I can remember how. Now, if we watch very quietly, you might see the little bugger. Probably not now, because he knows I aimed the camera in his general vicinity. Great placement for that chair, by the way. Come on, buddy. Alright. Okay, I can see him. He's in the cavern of doom. Snail doom. Might be coming out. Or he's eating a snail again. That's possible too. I think he's eating a snail. Let's see if we can get you in just a little closer. Just a little closer. There he is. There's the little mud sucker. Really active, cool little guy. He's probably put on maybe a half an inch already, or it just seems like it. But if you notice in there, he does have an abundance of chairs in front of him. Right there, that little brown thing, it's a snail. There's a bunch of those in there, and he knows it. In fact, I think he's eating another one. This is probably a bad idea. This is the reason why we need to get this 150 going so quickly. Because I don't want him to gorge himself on those things. I'm sure they can be overfed. And the bad part is, is right now whenever he gets hungry, he just eats. And eats. And eats. And that's exactly what he's doing. Something you liked over there. <laughs> and he's just getting at it. He's an awesome little guy, though. He kind of looks like a gremlin. Pretty neat. Uh, well, let's back out of this. I also realized today that, that Frontosa just saved 15% on his car insurance. And if we look over here, where'd he go? Look at my nasty shark. Yeah, there he is. We've officially had him for a year. I didn't know that, but it popped up on Facebook today. <laughs> now I'm gonna zoom back out because wow. before we can move it obviously so I did get some new fish in the 200 gallon right there so how about we just watch out for a minute we'll let paint dry
Okay, so here's the update. She's gotten through as much painting as she can on this until we move it. But we kind of can't move it until it's dry. So, this is Saturday. She's got a live to do. So she's going to do that. Hopefully by the end of that, this will be dry. And then we can slide, slide, big slide. Touch that side. Then get inside with stuff and I don't know where I'm going with that one but anyways there's more to this it'll be right after this all right well now that that's over now we can get started on the fun stuff so tanks dry stands dry right not thank you enough for me so I'm gonna drain a little bit of water out of this one Obviously, that one didn't need to drain much out of it. So, I'm going to pull a little bit of water out of this guy. Probably take it about halfway. See how easy it is to tug it. You have a little lip in the floor. So, I wanted to go over that without collapsing. That would be a plus. We'll get everything moved. And then we'll slide Big Boy over here. So I think we're going to go ahead and roll one more coat um, of paint on the back glass just because in the light if you look through the back and you shine a light on it you can see little spots here and there so we're just going to roll a quick coat over that and then immediately stick it against the blind and stain it um we might not we might just set her over there we'll see how it goes but uh yeah let's get to it i think while we're at it I'm probably going to take those two uh, tall Anubis out and put those in here too after we're done getting the soil and sand in it. Might give those guys a fighting chance. Let's see. Probably too late, but whatever. Alright, so we got the water level down about halfway. So I think now it'll move a little bit easier. We're just going to basically slide it back. Put it next to the cube for right now. Move this bucket that's been sitting here forever. I move stuff, just it takes me a minute. Uh, anyways, we'll get all that adjusted. I'll get the tank slid over here. It's not bad to move by yourself when it's on the stand. Um, then I can slide that back over, hook everything back up in here, fill this back up so we can get these guys back up and going, because I don't want to leave it like that for too long so I'm gonna get to it okay so with the awesomeness of editing not even editing got everything unplugged it's just weird seeing all this room over here all right so we're gonna start pulling this little guy that's not gonna be a need to no then I gotta contend with cords and stuff. I might keep jerking them around if I don't.
right now for the fun part. Not really. We're gonna swing this guy out. Yeah, it was. It's yours. Okay. That thing is, it keeps catching my food. Mm -hmm. You're worried it's a little wall again. Now I just have to be a little bit mindful. I don't want to get too close to the wall. Be able to open that if we need to. I think that'll work just like that. Okay. Now, we can slide this one right there. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so that was fun. After giving everybody almost a mild coronary there, I don't know if you guys, I don't even know if I caught that. But in case I didn't catch that, I caught this. <laughs> I have this little strip in the floor that kind of divides the two different sections of flooring that I felt the need to install. Uh -huh. Well, it caught that lip and uh, about topple over. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to hook everything back up, fill this little guy back up. <laughs>
to clean canister filters. You don't want to rinse them out. You'll ruin things. And you just stick your hose in the water like so and just let it fill up. Then, this is the important part, tap one end off, leave the other end in there, and you don't get water in your mouth, especially brown water. Yum. I'm going to fill that up probably about halfway. Oh, and always make sure you leave it running after you have your hands soaked. That way when you grab the surge protector, you play an even more fun game. And there's how you end the flow. 
just like that. So easy a caveman can do. and the 407s and all the other ones I got. They have a shutoff valve on them. Which on this one, is just lifting a lever. And then another lever. And water is off. Then you can take your canister, but be careful because it will slash. And you just take it out of there. Somehow. Bam. There we go. I need another bucket. It's a good idea to have two buckets. Uh-huh. I don't, I only grabbed one. Uh -huh. it's, it's me. Yeah. Anyways, to get these little guys open, click and click. And it's probably gonna dump water everywhere. But this one's been a little bit of a jerk to open. But that just means good seal. All right. Oh yeah, look at that yummy goodness. That's probably been one or two months, maybe three since I've cleaned this thing. Because I usually don't need to, but I did notice prior to starting this episode tonight that the flow was slowing down and I figured I was gonna run into this, so. Why not? Now, not all canisters are built the same. These have sleeves that come out that are holding the sponges in. And what I like to do, you got your coarse sponges here and there's just coated with just yummy goodness. So we're just gonna take that and shake it up in the water. Nothing crazy, but voila. Give her a good couple tosses through there. One down. Second one, same same filter. And you can see the difference just after pretty much dipping it to shake it. People say you can wring them out. I try to avoid that because I, I want to keep the bacteria in there, obviously. And there we go. That little guy clean. Ish. And then over here, you have your finer pads. These are a little harder to get clean. I just kind of stick it in the water and I wiggle it like that. There's going to be so many jokes made on that part right there. <laughs> you can just give it a little squeeze. Oh, boy. This is going to be bad. I can already feel it. Which you can't make fun of yourself, but who can you make fun of? snails and I found one, found one. <laughs> Snailed it. because yes they make their way into the filters oh, yes. every filter I have in this house except for one tank and that's the one behind me has snails in it and there I'm is. sure that one will eventually too <laughs> probably so and I'm not upset by that doesn't bother me a bit all the snails do is help so why would I be mad about that? Absolutely. All right, so now we've got that little guy out of the way. Uh, we'll just 
Yeah, why not set it on the table? Yeah, sure, why not? And we've got our screen with yet more snails. Just a stack of the bio cubes or whatever you want to call them. Media is what I call them. Probably what everybody else calls them. Oof. You gotta be careful because those will come apart. And lo and behold, more snails. I was just gonna say I saw snails in there. <laughs> snails in the bottom. Normally I clean them out. We're not going to worry about it this time. Ugh. Not really any point in cleaning them out. They're just going to go back in. Ultimately. Drop that back down in there. Now, what I do first, which helps with the priming of the filter, is go grab my whole delayer for that one again. Do the same thing as before. And get it caught up. Right. Because we'll hang on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's just put it all over the floor. Dude! Sorry. I wasn't serious. cartridge or the canister first. Do yourself a favor. It's much smarter. Especially with the older 305s like this one is. Well, they're just older and they don't like to work as well anymore. But now, the other thing you can do is pop this little cap off and check your impeller out. Well, mine actually looks pretty clean under there, so we're not going to mess with it this time. Probably because I just did it not that long ago. But again, this driftwood in here is still putting tannins off, and we've had it for quite a while. Over a year. So then what we'll do is we'll slide this little guy back in on top of all the electrical items. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll take our clothes and dump more water everywhere. Then you just pretty much grab your lever. It's kind of tricky. And push one lever down first and then the second lever down. And then you hear it kind of suck. Boy. <laughs> like this video. Now, what that's doing is allowing more air to escape out of the hose and it's going to make the priming process much, much easier. Kind of like how I started that hose up. So. Now it's got a self-primer on top of it. 
I promise he's priming that famous suit. This little guy's gonna prove me wrong today. Mm -hmm. Usually, filling the canisters helps. One thing that can happen, which may have happened, is the return or the inlet will clog up and it'll gum up or it'll mess up the suction between the two. Oh. Or this fluid will just flat out die on Could be a possibility too, it is old. Increase the wider level a little bit. Maybe if we can get some water going into the outlet, that might force the air bubble out. We'll find out. It is plugged in, right? It yes. sounds like a dumb question. The girl, I think she did. That is not a good thing. Is this her hook that's right? The only one we can have one. Okay, I'm just trying to go through the process just to make sure. Yeah, she's rocking. 
give up on old Betsy that easy. She just needed a little extra loving today. All right, now we'll finish out the water. Mm -hmm. So what I did there besides scratch the crap out of my fingers, if you run into that, instead of wasting 20 minutes like I did, just unplug it and prime it. You'll get a drip of water out of the primer, plug it back in. Works the air pocket out. And the nice thing, within an hour or two, all of that will clear back up. Go right back into the filter and I'll wait too long and it'll do this all over again. 